Okay, and um, the first bit is very straightforward. Um, the marginal product first worker is 10. The second one is 15 because it's 25 minus 10. The third one is 45 minus 25, which is 20. The third one is 60 minus 45, which is 15. The fifth one, 70 minus 60, which is 10. The sixth one, 75 minus 70, which is 5, then 2, and then 1. So what's the marginal cost? Yeah, um, what we know is that each worker costs £100 to employ. So the first guy, we, or woman, you know, we employ, we pay £100 to. They produce 10 units, so effectively, assuming there are no other costs, that's £10 each. The same one also costs another £100, but they make 15. So for £100 we get 15 units, yeah, therefore they're costing you £6.67 each, probably. The third worker is £100, they add 20 workers, yeah, therefore that's, did add for 20 workers, they had 20 units, sorry. Yeah, so that's £5 each. So all these are each adding £100. An extra 15 there, £100 divided by 15 um, is, I'm doing this in my head, but £6.67, I hope. Yeah, um, £100 there, each of those extra unit costs, so these are each £10 each, they're £20 each, they're £50 each, and that one, we employ the eighth worker for £100, um, she or he adds one unit, therefore that's £100 for that unit. So... We can see, therefore, that, initi that, that here we have increasing returns to the variable factor because each worker is adding less than the one before, but marginal cost is falling. Here we have diminishing returns to the variable factor, and as a result, because each worker is less productive than the one before, the cost of each extra unit um, is actually going up. And that's the link yeah, between marginal product and marginal cost. Now, I will, of course, yeah, bring all this together um, yeah, in, in tomorrow's lesson on Tuesday. Um, yeah, but yeah, I think trying to work it out for yourself is going to do you a lot of good, even if you don't think so at the moment. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope this is going okay. Yeah, um, but if not, um, I'll sort it all out, I promise.